Hi guys! So, welcome back to the third episode of the compactor build. Uh, the compactor is finished, but I was thinking that we should uh, add lights and all the details, and also the stickers, which makes it more complete. So let's go ahead and make the stickers first, and then we'll go over to the smaller details. So all the vinyl colors have been cut for the stickers and as you can see there's four colors to combine them to make the stickers. And I'm not creating stickers just for one compactor, I'm making stickers for four of them because I'm making more of these in the future so, so let's combine these so they will look like nice stickers. So there's all the stickers finished, now let's put a few of them on this compactor. So the stickers are on and it's looking much better. Here's the mirrors that I made and I'm going to use uh, steel wire to attach them to this cabin. Showing you how to solder lights and stuff, that's boring, so I'm going to skip ahead until all the lights are installed and you'll get to see what it looks like when it's finished. So here's the lights installed, it's looking so, so much better already. And we also got 
lights on the back. I also weighed it down, so now it weighs around five kilograms exactly. And it's pretty heavy. Uh, I've uh, put some weights underneath the cabin. But keep in mind, this is still not hollow, so in the future I will add uh, the hollow chassis and put a lot of weights in here. So over the past few days, me and my buddies have tested the compactor quite a lot and I'm very happy with how it performs. It seems to do its job very good. In order to keep the drum clean, you need scrapers. So these are the scrapers that I made. They have a protruding lip that will go into the drum. So you should mount them this way. There's a difference between the front and rear. Now this is the rear one and this is the front one. You mount them with two by six self-tapping screws into these mounts right here. So here's the scrapers installed and you can hear the sound that I, they do scrape. I think it's time for us to take it outside and show you what it can do.
So there you have it guys, the compactor is uh, working and it's it has pretty good performance and I'm I'm very happy with it. So I'll be putting the files for this compactor up on my Colts 3D account. I'll put a link to the download in the description. So you can also build a compactor like this if you want. Anyway guys, that's it for this video and also this build series. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.